Hey yo, my brothers, welcome back here for another video in today. Today, uh, I just had to clear the mucus out of my throat there a little bit. We're watching some Tib Tobs, all right, my friends. And the first thing we got on our list here is epicness. But also wanted to put something out into the universe before this. Here's the deal. If there's like a song that's like clearly like too big, we gotta skip that talk. And at one point, my uh, algorithm should be n knowing me enough to where it doesn't do music stuff. But anyways, let's get into this. What is going on? He's like so serious. He has nothing else to do but put cucumbers down on this cart and make this TikTok in this moment. Like, are those, wait, wait a second. Are those condoms? <laughs> The song is banging, whatever that is. Holy shit. Like, then one second, I needed to clear something for my OCD. La <laughs> <laughs> ah, Kind of sounds a little bit like the, what is it, the guy from Clash Royale, I think I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> whatever that would be. How to match the pros at. Stop. Is this an ad? I got it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't care about this Pearl set. My live reaction to the Mari movie cast was legendary. Why was it legendary? And yes, that laugh is real. First, of course, what? Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. No, that's so not cool. what? Mario will be talking about in the movie. Yeah, no, I mean, Mario and Chris Pratt, I don't know how it's gonna mix together, but it probably won't. Because how is Mario supposed to Mario without an Italian accent? Because uh, I heard that, like, Mario's not gonna be like classic Mario. He's not gonna have the accent. Like, what? Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. Is this a joke? No, why would it be a joke? Because nothing is. Because capitalism, and I hate the world. Next, no. will be played by Anya Taylor Joyce. This looks like a good casting choice for Princess Peach. I'm Chris not gonna lie. Charlie, Day is, Charlie, Charlie Day, Day is Luigi. Charlie Day? I know him from so much stuff, but I can never place a finger on, like, actually what he's in. You know what I'm saying? He's like one of those actors. <laughs> Jack Black <laughs> as Bowser. Holy shit. I'm Bowser! Because, like, if Chris Pratt's Mario isn't going to have an Italian accent, why would Jack Black's Bowser have a drag scent? A drag in accent. Like, it doesn't make sense. That's funny. And bruh, this, this is cast this is fucking cursed. Real. This isn't is real! My friend, it's very real. Big moments. <laughs> Even though this is a Mario. <laughs> Bro, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong is the best pick I would have. Oh my god. Kong will also be making an appearance. Yo! Yo, this guy's <laughs> losing his mind. Yo, it's like he booted out the screen. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been Yo, I just a guy watching another guy talk about other guys being guys doing things in movies. All sorts of ideas. Inception. I don't know what that is actually. Like, like, like the movie. I think there's a movie about Inception. And I <laughs> myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making. Okay, how long is this goddamn TikTok? I'm giving you four more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I've had enough. And I even gave you one extra second. Sorry. I was just yawning. Because I'm tired of all the TikTok BS that's going on. Are you? You know, I find it quite stupid. Really, f I'm not going to say anything. I just find it really dumb. 
that you think I'm under the age of 13 TikTok? Does this well, mean nothing? Does it mean nothing to you? No. Oh, hey, that's a nice Why would 12 it? year old over there with a beard. It doesn't happen. You don't normally see a 12 year old with a beard. Bruh. Because there is something wrong with your system. If you think I'm a kid. I'm not gonna lie. Not only that, I have to be 18 to receive the money. What is going kid, on? Which is not even a lot, but. Guys, everything is falling apart. If you just watched the last 30 seconds of that, if I was lazy enough to upload this as a one take Jacob, what the fuck is going on right now? That's what I want to know. Because, because, like, I I was about to fix something, then it didn't, 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 didn't. you know? You know. I'm not going to complain. The only thing I'm going to complain about is you banning my 3.3 mil- And also, listen, I feel like a little bit of dead space in a YouTube video should not be the end of the world. Because you, you bitches are out here watching Twitch streams. Literally half of that is just watching a person exist. That's, 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 that's not, and, and, come on, like, like, let's keep our attention span. <laughs> I, I'm just insulting the average Twitch viewer. Now, if you're a YouTube viewer. Million followers account for no reason. I want you to think about something. You got all these controversial. Okay, I'm done. And if there was a good topic you was talking about there, I apologize. I just have ADHD. This? This is what all the fuss was about? This thing is the size of a mini M&M &M for fuck's sake. It can't even exist outside the- Is this an abortion TikTok? Well, um, my, uh, mm, uh, bruh, if my mom sees this, sorry. My opinions go with the, with the body people. With the people who can make the babies. Those are the people that decide things. There. Why? Why is this on my TikTok? Like, I didn't ever want to talk about this in a video. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I don't even think Beethoven could make a song this good. The 20 year great war of frogs. Yo! They didn't think it'd be this long. One day Dang. they was chilling on the lily pads Then a frog walked out, she was hella bad Two male frogs knew they wanted some of that So they just Yo, this is fucking fire Decided to compete with a game of crafts Frog Gussie decided on a dice roll Frog Gussie decided on a dice roll He got snake eyes, man, he's in, in some trouble. trouble The other frog got two fives, he got doubles But he used way to die Are you cheating? Are you kidding me? The 20 year great war of frogs They didn't think it'd be this long He used his way to die to cheat So they all pulled out their RPGs I just know how to read, I don't know what an RPG is, I'm assuming it's some type of weapon what is an RPG? Ek, 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 echo. What is an RPG? RPG is usually defined as role-playing game. <laughs> I, I thought it was like a gun. <laughs> Bruh, literally, it was... Oh, I'm an idiot. What? I should have noticed that through listening to the song. Gotta say, though, Fire Song is great. It was great. Okay. Get the fuck ready, because I'm What? about to answer a question that I get way, way too often. And that question is, why do I hate Imagine Dragons with the passion that I do? I'm answering this because I get it a lot, and I just, I just want to be able to direct people to this video in case they're curious. Okay, here we go. Many, many moons ago, I found a band that I really- I don't care. Being transgender is a lot like you've had a rock in your shoe for your end entire life but because you've never known life without a rock in your shoe you don't really think much of it you just kind of assume that everyone is a little bit uncomfortable all the time <laughs> until one day you're talking to one of your friends and you're like hey man doesn't it suck that your feet hurt all the time and he's like uh my feet never hurt <laughs> sounds like maybe you have a rock in your shoe you should try taking the rock out of your shoe. And you're like, oh. So 
Sorry, I got so quiet. I'm just like, I really want to like hear this person out and like what they're talking about. I didn't even know that that was an option. <laughs> Which, uh, to be fair, is not entirely true because for years in secret on the internet, you'd been watching videos of people being like, this is what my body looked like three years after taking the rock out of my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> But it's intimidating, because you have all these old people in the government who are like, if you try and take the rock out of your shoe, you're a pile. Like what? Like, make it make sense. Here's the thing, it doesn't. And we won't let you use the bathroom. <laughs> Being transgender. Yeah, no. Facts, facts upon facts, I must say. Transgender people are some are, are like the nicest people I've met. So I don't know. Want to know who are the worst people I've met? The worst people I've met have all been straight, white, old people. I work in retail, so I know these things, and I am also of the white color, and I don't like any of them. <laughs> like straight old white people probably on a on a scale of like 1 to 10 10 being I like them I would probably if you could just put a little bit of a dash in front of a 1 and a 0 that would be yeah yeah but yeah <laughs> let, let, let's keep going let's watch a couple more a yo cheetah what's up Got a big piece of meat. I was thinking that we should. Is that from Kroger? Smoke it. Yeah, I can help you with that. Bring that brisket over here so we can trim off the fat. Yeah. Off the fat like we up in the gym. Yeah, but make sure you leave a quarter of an inch. Now you gotta make a. Oh my God, yo, this, 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 whatever that is, is, is fire at rapping. Uh. There's a lot of different methods, but I do it this way. Get some brown sugar, salt, chili, mustard, and pepper. Some paprika, garlic powder, mix it together. Yo, this is fucking amazing. I love this so much. I don't know why. Normally, this guy's videos make me cringe, but this one's fucking good. Oh, my lord. I clicked the wrong button. No! Now heat your smoker up to 225 Then you put your brisket in there every hour Take your apple cider vinegar and give it a shower Yo, bro, the fucking the lines on this is so good oh. <coughs> <coughs> On the inside. Wrap it and put your paper in foil, then you cook it again. And when it's 200 internal, then you know it's the end. So Yo, bro, they're making the best fucking meat ever. We love meat here on this channel. We like meat. I'm about to pass out. Cheetah, can I put this meat in my mouth? Nah, man, it's got a rest for an hour. What? <laughs> One hour later. God damn, this meat is good. What? You got the meat? God damn, this meat is good. That's what I sound like I, when I wake up in the morning with my boys. <laughs> hey, yo, cheetah. What's up? I got a big piece of meat. Okay, okay, okay. One more, one more. Kid does Patrick impression for school talent show. All the Patrick audio. So, <laughs> I'm gonna fill in for all the audio that's missing. Oh my god, I can hear it in his voice. He, he's like pushing the Patrick out. Stupid idea. Who wants a Krabby Patty at 3 in the morning? Oh boy, 3 in the morning! In a recent now-deleted tweet, a British politician said that the word woman comes from womb man. In concept, etymologically, that's not dumb. Lots of words come about like that. We got boards we keep our cups on, so it's a cupboard. Cupboard. But womb man leading to... I didn't know that! Woman? It's just not true. It comes from with man, which a lot of people take to mean the wife of a man, making it only slightly less degrading than defining women by their wombs. But that's not true either. Because in Old English, as the word woman was evolving, the word with and the word man did not mean what we mean by wife and man today. 1200 years ago, with simply meant a female person. So in an Anglo-Saxon translation of the Bible, when Jesus talked- Bruh, this is too much thinking. Just, just stop thinking. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, like, this is all good information, and it is interesting. Okay. But I don't care. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I got better things to do. Like, watch this TikTok. One thing about me is when I was younger, my dad had a lot of girlfriends, and I hated them all because they were all terrible people. And Yo, these, these stories are interesting. They were fucking crazy except for one who seemed to be kind of decent. So eventually she moves into my house with me, my brother and my dad, because she had nowhere to live, and her three children move in with us as well. What the fuck? I have to share a room with a four-year-old child. Not cool. That does not sound great. I gotta say, like, when my uh, immediate family moved in instantly, which was um, uh, when they all were birthed, I was mad too, you know? Like... And I was 14 at the time, and I was super upset. But eventually, they were together for like under a year, and me and these children grow a bond. But then my dad and her break up. My brother and I don't really care because she was kind of crazy. But that okay, how many likes does this have? It has two million likes. Okay, okay, this shit has to be good. What is this gonna and be about? One day, my dad walks into the house from work. He tells me and my brother to sit on the couch. We both sit on the couch. We're super confused because we never have family conversations. My dad never sits down with us and he starts crying to which he tells us no that she has cancer. My brother and I are like, what? She has cancer? And then 30 minutes later, she shows up with no damn no hair she shaved her head off bro why are you like so into the cancer like calm down we were super confused and i felt so bad because this woman with three children has been diagnosed with cancer so she comes in we all have a hug we have a chat and they get back together she moves back into the house because again she had nowhere to live the children move back in I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I would like somewhere to live as well. But then, eventually. But then. Eventually, we. Bruh, I'm dra dragging out this video very extra long. Jesus Christ. We find out that her breast implants had been making her sick. She had been shaving her hair off so that it looked like she had cancer. And I believed her, and my brother believed her. And I don't know if my dad knew, but she was lying about having fucking cancer and she was just sick because of her breast implants. And then my dad had to pay to get her breast implants taken out. And then they- Bruh. Yo, holy shit, bruh. Just, just, bruh. Just take your titties out if, if they're giving you- in What? Why would that be more of a viable option? To say you have cancer and to shave your entire ass hair then to just say your boobs are making you sick it's not that embarrassing what are you what broke up okay well that has been all for today on this video if you guys like this video if you guys want to see more videos i don't know like the video maybe maybe subscribe maybe goodbye I'm leaving now.